Hey guys, today I want to talk about the flare of Larry. That's racing. I hope you caught that. But to do that in flat water is crazy. So this is the way to brace. If you do brace. Flaring is the father of bracing. Or vice versa. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It's a chicken and egg thing, right? Which came first? Bracing or feathering? moving that way. Why the hell would I go that way? It's really easier to brace this way. Yes. You can do this. Look, you came to a dead stop. Oh shit. You got a race. You just lost. Yeah? That doesn't work. It's a defensive measure. Brace up front. Flat water or otherwise. Right? Well, of course, if you can't master this in flat water, forget about doing it in this water. So yes, learn how to paddle without that flaring, so-called bracing. I know people think this flaring is different from bracing. Well, that's the origin of bracing from flaring. People don't want to say that. Okay, I have to learn to walk and chew gum at the same time. So, Lately, I tried to do this in the wind, but I don't know if you can hear me, but I'll try it again. So lately, I've gotten a lot of messages everywhere, YouTube, Facebook, whatever, about a couple of the Dragon Boat, a couple of LC1 videos that I was trying to explain to people that are transitioning from uh, Dragon Boat to Outrigger and stuff they can't seem to transition properly because they're stuck with the dragon boat stroke dragon boat stroke on outrigger number one is the issue of flaring you know paddling like this now in calm water it's pretty okay you're not racing you're cruising i i this is a very relaxed way to go but look at all the excessive movement down, side, come up, all this triangle I'm making, look, down, side, swing back up, down, side, swing back up, same with this side, down, side, swing back up, down, side, now you got to clear the armor, right, so all this takes time, so I'm a big proponent of releasing forward, no, no flaring, you just have to feather the plate, so let's not confuse flaring with feathering look i'm just enough the blade to clear the water you know you go high all this high end stuff just catches air because when you blow your paddle off into the ocean so all that look it's just release forward i'm throwing my weight forward look throw it forward throw it forward 
Now, you want to borrow it for Dragon Boat Pally? It might be a good idea, you know, because the sport cannot evolve if you don't constantly learn and adapt from other arts. You know, because a lot of coaches, uh, whoever's teaching, tend to paddle outrigger on the, only on the Ama side. So any, any texture like that, they don't go out. But what's the point of buying an ocean going outrigger and a keyword being outrigger for dead flat water? And you can just use a stand-up paddleboard or anything. Okay, right? The reality of this is that don't confuse myth with physics. Right? This thing is a defensive maneuver. It's not an offensive maneuver. And what I mean by offensive? Well, if you're racing, you're fighting. You're fighting to win. Right? If you're racing to lose, then fight. It's good. This pause. Right? I know why you have to have 20 guys being timed. This pause allows those who are off time to catch up. There's nothing wrong with that for novice crews. But if you're a serious racer, this pause will cause you, and you can do it fast, you do pause, so you're not doing this prime, right? So now you're pushing water that way. So both sides are pushing water this way. The energy is not going this way. That's the physics of it, right? So existing, existing coaches will say, that's not the traditional way. Well, like I said, dragon boating, maybe Chinese. But, hey, man. Fun today, huh? Watch this kid. <laughs> now that's skill. No rubber. Look at that. That's the perfect example of skill. Ava McCoy. So, that's okay. all good. Yeah. Good? You good today? Yeah, I'm right on the horizon. It was super fun. I don't even feel like paddling, just want to ride it. That's Avon Becerra, one of our best juniors on the island. So, that's what I mean by control. Back to walking and shooting gum at the same time. Okay, so, think of Bruce Lee. He was a wushu expert, Chinese Kung Fu, right? But when he came out with Jeet Kune Do, he took elements of boxing, karate, and some of the other arts, and made it into a much more simplified technique. There's nothing wrong with traditional Kung Fu. That's, 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 I'm Chinese, like I said. Shaolin martial arts are the best. However, you know, in modern fighting, right? He just wants to knock somebody out the most efficient way possible. It may not be uh, beautiful and elegant, but it works. So I think of this like you can do it. This just works biomechanically and the physical, right? This does not work. Too much pause, too much excessive movement. Look, this is flat water, right? Right. This bounces the boat. That's crazy. It's not the release that bounces. So you hammer, you flare to stop the bounce. That's not where the bounce comes from. The bounce comes from this. 
course you're throwing weight now. Of course you're bouncing the ball here. So if the flaring is to stop the bouncing, well, that's cutting your nose to spike your face. Can't move it forward. Look.